and I had to get my torch. I'm up, my battery's almost dead. So, that's it, campers. She's gone. And I turned the oil back to just a drip. There's off, and that's just barely open. And, as you can see, it's going. And I'll put the top draft control back on. And you can, hopefully you can hear it. And I'll back this way out. You see the flame. And you should be able to hear it. Now let's see what time it is. It is 10.30. So we'll let this go for a while and uh, I'll show you how it progresses. Now this does take quite a bit longer to heat up than the old Ozer style uh, waste oil burner I had. Uh, there are trade-offs. Uh, this is more efficient, I believe, quite a bit more efficient. And once I shut it off, it radiates heat for a much longer uh, time than the Ozert style. Uh, but there is a trade-off. So, like I said, it's 10:32, and I'll be oh, back in a while. warming up. I, I thought I'd share with you uh, my mistakes. I made two of them that I, I that I am aware of uh, so far. Uh, the first one was. On the original build, this is the second build, uh, the heat riser that comes up through the center of the, uh, of the stove, uh, I made that out of steel. Um, if you decide to build one of these units, especially if you're going to try oil, uh, I can tell you right now with 100% assurance that's a waste of time. That steel pipe will last only a few days at best before it starts to flake and disintegrate. Um, I was amazed at how quickly that, that thing fell apart. So um, I tore it apart and I put in a clay a round chimney liner, six inch uh, chimney liner. Um, and only time will tell uh, how well that works. Now, uh, my second mistake is when I put the, the chimney liner in, on t I built a platform on, on the back side of this uh, burn chamber, um, and I set the uh, flue liner on top of that. My mistake was I used furnace cement between the uh, steel and the clay. and. Uh, the day after I put this thing all back together, it occurred to me that the the expansion rate between the steel and the, and the clay liner is going to be dramatically different. So I don't know how well uh, the clay is going to hold up. I, I mean, I, I've heard some cracking sounds in there of ceramic, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's already cracked. It has not disintegrated, but I'm sure there are cracks in there. Another mistake was I had to use uh, two lengths of liner in here. I had to cut the, the liner a little bit because it was too tall. And again, I cemented using furnace cement. I sealed between the two uh, sections. Uh, what I should have done is to let these things float. Uh, put some um, high temperature gasket material like uh, from a fireplace door or whatever and glue that to the bottom of the liner or glue it to the uh, steel uh, burn chamber and then just set the liner uh, on top of it and likewise in between the sections of uh, uh, chimney liner. That way there each, each component can expand and contract uh, without imposing its force on the other uh, unit. Um, so again, there, there's a couple of my errors and hopefully that'll save you some grief if you, if you uh, decide to make one of these. Again, it's, let's see here, it's 1036 at the moment and again, 
like I say, ease of lighting is is the key. Uh, there's no way I'm going to stand here and, and babysit this thing for 10 or 15 minutes. It's just it's not going to happen. So again, I'll turn this off for a while and let the, this thing continue to warm up. Although while I'm right here, it's only been a couple minutes. Let's take some temperatures. Uh, it was 55, and I don't know if you can see that. Now it's 146 degrees in a couple minutes. So uh, now this brake drum again is 90 pounds of steel, so it takes a while for it to heat up. That's only 94 degrees, and up on top that's going to get the hottest. Well, no, that's 116 degrees. So uh, the fluid temperature uh, up here that's going to be cold. That's 84 degrees. 84 degrees. That this stay this pipe stays cool. I mean, even when this thing is ripping, uh, it, it stays cool. Uh, it's been be about 16 minutes and temperatures 264 degrees there up on top 184 degrees and the very plate on top is 236 degrees uh, it, until this gets up to about 300 degrees um, it's just slow go after 300 degrees it sort of takes off and this is looking down inside the burn chamber good draw and just burning straight oil. Waste oil that is, waste engine oil. And just a point of interest, I'm in uh, upstate New York and I can think of uh, several mi million people that would most likely really like to have something in their homes right now that, that don't have power uh, to keep them warm. And uh, I'm seriously considering making a smaller version of this to put inside my house. Uh, just in the event of no power. I do have a generator, but uh, that runs on gasoline, and uh, the more you're dependent on somebody else, uh, the, the worse it is. So, again, I'll let this continue to warm up, and uh, okay. I'll get back to it. It's been just 30 minutes. 30 minutes of burn time, and we'll take a peek down inside here. Good burn. Again, just straight waste oil. And some temperatures after 30 minutes. I can see that 353 degrees, 298 degrees. Again, a, a lot more mass right here. And up on top, 446 degrees. <clears throat> Stack temperatures, 226 degrees. And up by the heat -a -later, 95 degrees. See that or not? I can barely see it. Let's see there. 95 degrees. Hopefully you can see it. Terrible. Terrible. Anyway, very pleased. Um, I have retired my Ozer uh, waste oil heater. I've cut it up and uh, I will use the pieces for another project. And uh, again, if you decide to, to build one of these, um, uh, do not use a steel uh, heat riser. Uh, it's a waste of your time. It's been uh, 55 minutes since I lit this. At 10, 10.30. So let's take some uh, temperatures at, uh, right here. 491 degrees. This top drum. 513 degrees. Up on top. It's over 750 degrees. And back here. 368 degrees. So this puppy's cooking, and this is where I like to have it, and then I can just turn it off, and uh, it just radiates heat for hours. Coming out the bottom, 339 degrees. Up on the heat leader, 149 degrees. So not much heat is going out the chimney. Uh, it's all getting radiated into the building. Uh, all in all, uh, I think it's a nice piece of equipment. Uh, absolutely no power required to heat my uh, shop. 
and uh, like I say, I bet there's about uh, three million people in the United States that would really like to have this sitting uh, somewhere in their house if they have a house left. So take care, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.